astronomers have found one ring to rule them all, not in the land of Mordor, but around Saturn, our solar system's Lord of the Rings. When it comes to beautiful planets, Saturn is clearly at the top of the list. It does accessorize better than anything else in the solar system, which is something even Galileo was aware of. Nearly 400 years ago, using his small telescope, he noted Saturn had changing lobes on either side. It would be many decades, however, before astronomers began to understand these to be the ring system we know today. You might say we see Saturn as the Lord of the Rings of the Solar System. In that case, astronomers using NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope have just discovered the one ring to rule them all. In a patch of sky pretty far out from Saturn itself, Spitzer detected this telltale band of infrared light. While the image covers only a small area, it reveals a segment of something much bigger, the largest ring ever seen around Saturn or any other planet. How could such a large ring remain a secret for so long? While it is huge, the ring is insubstantial. Its diffuse particles are dark and reflect very little visible light. You could compare it to Tolkien's story of the Lord of the Rings. The elvish script identifying the One Ring of Sauron only becomes visible when it's heated in fire. This largest ring of Saturn was only discovered from the glow of its heat in the infrared. To understand this ring's origin, we have to look beyond Saturn's family of inner rings and moons to its swarm of outer moons. The largest of these is known as Phoebe. The new ring appears to line up with Phoebe's orbit, which is significantly offset from Saturn's ring plane. Phoebe is 220 kilometers across, about 1 15th the size of our own moon. Its surface is heavily cratered and rather dark in tone. Astronomers theorize that ongoing impacts not only leave craters, but kick off enough dust to create and maintain this outer ring. These dark dust particles reflect very little of the sun's visible light, but as they absorb it, they heat up slightly. This makes them visible to Spitzer's infrared sensors, which captured an edge-on view of the ring. So what prompted Dr. Ann Verbiser and her team to search for an unseen ring here in the first place? The answer can be found elsewhere in the Saturnian system. The one ring of Sauron was inherently evil and corrupted all those who touched it. While no one would claim this new ring of Saturn is evil, you could say that its darkness appears to have corrupted Saturn's mysterious moon, Iapetus. Over 200 years ago, astronomer Giovanni Cassini deduced through careful observation that Iapetus had a strangely dark side. Today, NASA's Cassini mission has shown us in extraordinary detail how almost half of this icy white moon is covered by an unusual dark feature. The same side of Iapetus always faces Saturn, and its dark side faces into the direction of its orbit. This led astronomers to theorize that it must be sweeping up some dark material as it orbits Saturn. It was this material Dr. Verbiser and her team sought when they found the ring. It's amazing just how big this ring is. Starting six million kilometers from Saturn, it extends outwards about 12 million more kilometers. If you could observe it with infrared vision, it would be huge, about as wide as two full moons. To paraphrase Tolkien, it's truly one ring to dwarf them all, and its darkness solves a 200-year-old mystery about the moon Iapetus. For the Spitzer Science Center, I'm Dr. Robert Hurt, reminding you there's a hidden universe just waiting to be discovered. In May of 2009, the European Space Agency launched the Herschel Space Observatory, a new eye on the infrared universe. 
Its three and a half meter mirror is the largest ever put into space, and it reveals the far infrared sky with unprecedented clarity. This early Herschel observation shows a patch of sky in the constellation Crux. Warm Milky Way dust at a wavelength of 70 microns glows blue, while cooler dust at 160 microns is red. Pushing to the longest infrared wavelengths, we now see from 250 to 500 microns. The orangish filaments trace the very coldest dust in our galaxy, only tens of degrees above absolute zero. These two images combine to make a spectacular ensemble spanning Herschel's full infrared range. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope provides a strikingly different view of the same region. At much shorter wavelengths, from 3.6 to 24 microns, we see stars and the hot dust around stellar nurseries. Herschel and Spitzer work well together to provide complementary views of the universe. Note how the densest dust clouds appear dark and opaque to Spitzer but show up as red filaments to Herschel. The combined Spitzer-Herschel image reveals the full range of cosmic dust temperatures, from the cold and red to the hot and blue. Together, these two observatories give us the most complete view to date of the infrared universe. On the morning of December 14, 2009, NASA launched its latest infrared telescope, the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. The satellite, also known as WISE, is on a mission to map the entire sky in infrared light. Its four detectors cover wavelengths from 3.5 to 22 microns and can see stars, dust clouds, asteroids, and comets. Seen in multiple passes as it scanned across the sky, WISE captured the comet sighting spring in motion through the solar system. This image sequence spans about eight hours, showing the comet's dramatic cold dust tail. The star-forming region NGC 3603 glows around the young bright cluster at its core. The light from these massive stars sculpt out the surrounding environment, producing the dramatic structures we see. Looking beyond the Milky Way, we see our neighboring Andromeda galaxy. At the shorter wavelengths, WISE catches the light from stars, while the longer wavelengths reveal dust. Together, we get the complete picture of the spiral galaxy and its prominent dust ring. Some distant galaxies are virtually impossible to see in visible light because they fall behind dark dust clouds in our own Milky Way. These two, known as Maffei 1 and 2, are easy marks for WISE, however, since the obscuring dust becomes transparent in the infrared. The WISE view of the Fornax cluster shows a population of galaxies about 50 million light years away. Most of them are dust-free ellipticals, glowing blue only from the light of their stars. One exception is NGC 1365, whose dusty spiral arms stand out vividly. Throughout the coming year, WISE will continue surveying the infrared universe, complementing the science of other infrared missions, like NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. <laughs>